you're going to go into the full-blown heavy-duty situation of walking, watching people walk by and talk on the phone while you're trying to make a video. Hi, this is Q Manning, General Manager and Founder of Rockstar Studios. Today on Q and Answers, I'm going to answer the question, can someone please explain product design to me? What is product design? Well, it's going to depend on who you ask and what they're trying to make. Uh, it can be software, it can be an actual physical product like a widget. It uh, could also be a process that you want to roll out into your company. A definition of product design is that it's a way of uh, creating processes, uh, products, or software, maybe experiences, uh, that focus on solving the problems of real people. Millions of products have been built, and not all of them went through product design. Product design, doing it the right way, means that you're focusing on design thinking, uh, maybe innovation thinking, that you're bringing in all the great methodology to really understand what a user needs. The products you love, I bet you they were built with product design. Focusing on a user's needs rather than just building something that people are going to tolerate. Does this feel familiar? Well, it should. Uh, whether you call it design thinking, whether you call it innovation thinking, or user-focused design, this is about building products for people that they really want in the best possible way that you can muster. Doing this well means bringing together a lot of different skills. Good product design isn't just UX, it isn't just design, and it definitely isn't just development. It's bringing together all these different disciplines and building something that's going to work really well for the user and always validating along the way. So who are the product design teams that bring this all together? You know, for the sake of argument, we're going to focus on software here, but a lot of these things will apply uh, if you're building a product or a physical widget, maybe even a process. So you're going to have market validation, business strategy, user surveys and research, innovation workshops and design sprints, UX prototyping and wireframing, UI, branding, design, and feel, motion and animation design, development, testing, testing, oh, and um, testing. So let's break each one of them down. Market validation. You gotta know if what you're building even has a place in the market. You're tapping into the research and finding out if the product you're looking to build actually has a place. You wanna learn everything from market size, market fit, consumer need, competition makeup, analysis of that competition, demographic, psychographic, and buying patterns in history. Next comes business strategy. If the market validation goes well, you need to build a business case that what you're looking to build actually has a place in the market. Ask yourself these questions. Why are we even building this? Does it fit our business model? Will the market actually buy this in enough bulk to make this a worthwhile investment? Do we have a differentiator that sets us apart from the competition? And of course, is this the right time to do this? Are we too early? Or even worse, are we too late? If your business strategy goes well, then you can move into user surveys and research. This is gonna help you gain valuable insight into your target demographic. Find out what it is they're buying, why they're buying it, and what the competition's doing that is or is not solving their needs. This will help drive the direction of your product and maybe help you find a really good differentiator that makes you sing and win the day. Now let's assume that your user surveys and research went well and you actually have a place for your product. We wanna move into innovation workshops and design sprints. Workshops are gonna be invaluable tools to help you make sure that everybody's visions are aligned as to what the product's going to be. Design sprints will follow, and these are gonna let you quickly get all the ideas together, create a prototype, and very fast get it into the market for a few users and test if your hypotheses are correct. Next is gonna come UX. This is gonna be wireframing and prototyping. We're gonna assume that the design sprint went really well and you've got buy-in on what you're looking to do. Now, you want to do the full-blown UX situation where you're coming up with all the user stories, all the acceptance criteria, uh, the user flows, the layout for the entirety of your product. At the end of this, you're going to have wireframes of the whole product, prototypes, or ways for people to click through. And you can go back to your audience and back to your target demographic and really say, okay, this is what I'm trying to build. Does it still work? And if not, why? Then we're going to move into UI. And this is going to be branding, design feel, and design systems. You want to build a brand that's going to resonate with your target demographic and your audience. You want to make something that they like and they want to love, not just a product they're going to tolerate. Test it. Make sure you're going down the right road with your branding. Then apply those brand elements to the entirety of your UI. This is buttons. This is fonts. This is margins. This is colors. This is everything about the app that makes it feel the way this piece of software feels. Once done, you can take all those elements and build an in-depth design system. And that design system is going to allow your development team to always iterate, but make sure that things stay consistent. Also, when new designers come under the project or you need to add in new modules, they'll have that visual language to follow to make sure everything still looks and feels fantastic. Then we have motion design and animation. Now, I personally don't really think this is that different from UI and I think it's part of the same process. 
but too often this gets sort of put on the back burner and short shrifted. So these are really the things that are going to make your application sing. It's going to be animation, it's going to be affordances, it's going to be the way that things move from A to B, it's going to be the uh, transitions of an application, how a modal may pop up. These things make a piece of software feel so much better. And these are the things that are going to keep people coming back to your application and loving it as time goes on. Developments next, duh, right? So this is gonna be the actual process of developing the product or the physical production of it if you're making something that's tangible. Always remember that a beautiful, well-crafted design will fall flat if it crashes as soon as someone opens it. But similarly, if you have a greatly developed application that's not user-friendly, then people aren't going to use it in the first place. So they have to work together to make something that's fantastic. And of course, testing, testing, and um, testing, right? Don't save this just for the end. Do it all throughout the process. During your user research, during your UX, during your UI, and of course, during your development, you wanna make sure that you're ensuring product market fit all along the way. Look, I guess an easier way to say all this is just that <laughs> execution really matters. Um, an idea is a great thing, but it only gets you so far. The execution has to matter in the way that a product actually gets built if you want some success with users. Otherwise, people aren't gonna connect. If we look at the app boom that happened, um, there were a lot of products that came out that were lookalikes. They tried to do similar things, but now we only have one Foursquare. We only have one Twitter. We only have one Instagram. And that's because they executed extremely well and that brought users in and kept them in. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you understand what product design is at least a little bit better. Um, if you need any help, you can always reach out to us at Rockstar Studios. You can either give us a call or you can shoot us an email. We helped a lot of people build products. We can help you out pretty much in any phase, whether you just want to ask some questions, you need some help with user testing, user validation, UX, UI, even development. Rocksauce has built over 400 products at this point. We're pretty damn good at what we do. It can be pretty damn good for you. If you get the chance, like and subscribe so we can keep producing these awesome videos for you and you never miss anything. With that, my name is Q Manning. This has been Q and Answers, and I'll see you next time. Adios.